Every design cycle project that we do starts with us identifying a need. So what is the need that we have identified for this project? So my challenge was to make a sustainable food product that was good for the consumer, good for the producer and good for future generations. So to make it good for the consumer, I'm going to make it something that I think uh, people would want to buy at break time, be healthy and delicious. Good for the producer means good for me, I want to make a profit, I want to make more money than what I've spent and good for future generations, I'm going to concentrate on packaging issues, food miles, and seasonal food. Now I need to choose the sugar, and I need to make the right sustainable choice. So, first I picked up this sugar, and I looked on the back, and I could see no sign that it can be recycled. Nothing at all. So, forget that. So then I found this sugar and I looked on the back and I could see a recyclable sign and it was made in Chile. So it means it's got no air miles. Okay, now I need to choose the flour. Again, I've got two choices. This one says pan, so it must be good for bread. The problem is it's plastic. So I'm going to get this one because this one's in favour. So it means I can recycle the bit. Two choices here. If I look at the back of that one, look at the writing. That's not made in Chile. It's definitely made somewhere else. So I'm going to get this one. Because I can see it's made in Chile. And also, look at the difference in the paper. This is going to be easier to compose, to recycle than this. Yeah, so I look at the organic section. There was no apples, and that's a shame. But at least apples are grown in this season, so they're seasonal. But I've got a choice, I can get this one in a plastic bag, or I can get these ones not in a plastic bag. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, the hypocrisy is in supermarkets, you can't get plastic bags. But they still use plastic bags to wear food. So I got this paper bag from the bread. I'm going to use this to bake my apple. Well, I have some delicious apple bread. Would you like to try some? Of course, yeah. Um, well, before I sell you the bread, I need to explain that it's sustainable food. What, what does that mean? I've heard of organic food. What is sustainable food? Sustainable me food means it's not just good for you now, but it's also good for future generations. Okay. Let me explain. Do you know what food miles are? No. Well, the apples in this bread okay. were grown in Chile which means that they weren't bought from other countries and had to fly into Chile. Mm. When that happens, that's called food miles. Do you know what food miles are? Yeah, so now it's, so basically it means that it's from here, not from abroad. So yeah. it's better for the environment. It's better because when you bring it from abroad, it has to come in an aeroplane or a boat mm. or in a truck. Right. And it contaminates the environment with the pollution from the vehicles. Mm. Okay. So that's, that's one thing why it's okay. sustainable. Mm -hmm. Also, the apples are in season. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. In season, it means that in autumn in Chile, apples are grown naturally. Mm -hmm. So it means that they've grown uh, without any use for any extra chemicals or pesticides and without affecting the natural ecosystem. Oh, so excellent. apples are meant to be grown at this moment. Wow, so this is going to be super delicious. Super delicious. 
super healthy, super good for you now and super good for future generations. Excellent. And how much are you selling this for? 500 cents. Oh, reasonably priced. Ah, I make a profit. Ching ching.